Hey, and welcome back to Moustache Flyer. I'm Bruno, that's Trippy, the cutest dog I know. Uh, we're coming at you today. It has been the busiest of holidays for me. I hope you and yours had a beautiful Christmas, happy Hanukkah, Merry New Year's, all of that good stuff, good tidings to you and yours. Now, what I wanted to bring at you today was a look and tour of where I'm building. I've had a lot of people ask about the tools, about the space and where I'm at, how I got here. So here we go. What I'm wanting to do today is show you I am building in a two car garage. It is not very big. It is a 24 by 26 square that I can't put wings on in here. Now, could I go out and rent a hangar? Yes, I could. Could I go out and buy a building and put it out here? Yes, I don't want to. I want you to save money. I'm a budget builder. I have a certain amount of money I want to, to invest in this and that's all it gets. Uh, people have told me, no, you need to go out. You need to, to, to at least build a 30 by 40, you know, all this stuff, at least rent a hangar. Look, a hangar is $250 a month in my area. They're not available. I don't want to invest that $2,500 a year. You know, it's a little more than that. Uh, and I, I can drop that in somewhere else. Avionics are expensive. The engine is expensive. This stuff gets quite expensive quickly. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, I don't need it. I really don't. I know guys that are building this in a one car garage. I know guys that are building it with their wives inside their house. Make sure you ask your wife before you do that. It was a funny thread, but man, I bet she was mad. Now, what about me? 24 by 26, two car garage. I own a woodworking company and iron company. I do have a lot of tools out here. Most of them don't get used. I would say I have used zero tools that uh, I bought before building this kit. Everything you get can be, be, everything that you need to build this is in that box right there. That is my toolbox. That is my toolbox right there. Everything I need to build it is in there. You know, it, it was about 600 bucks from Zenith. It was the best investment I've made so far. And that's where I'm at. A lot of people on Facebook, the forums, uh, through some of the YouTube videos are, oh, you need this, you need that. I started adding and pricing this stuff up at two, three, four thousand dollars. Uh, that's a lot of money. That's 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 a Garmin panel almost. You know, that's a Dynon panel almost. That, that's avionics. That's comms. That that's bush tires. There there's so much there. Your header tank, engine. You know, it it, it you don't have to do it, and you don't have to have a ton of space to build this. And that's what I'm here to hopefully show you today. Uh, quick tour of my shop and what I have going. Now, like I said, I have a few things that people don't. I have a CNC. I've got a beautiful puppy dog that probably wants to go inside and eat. So I'm going to go ahead and put her in here really quick. She'll go in. Now, 24 by 26 is not a lot. I can't put my wings on in here. So folding is what I'm going with. Now, so where do we want to start? Let's start with this guy right here. Because it's going to be something that you get when you buy the components kit. That becomes your workbench. $8.50 in casters, and I'm done. This thing moves back and forth. It is a part holder. It is a table. Uh, I fall asleep on it sometimes. Don't tell anyone. Uh, it, it, you don't have to go and spend a bunch of money. Now, I'm going to build a Christmas tree so that I can put parts and everything like that on it because I don't really want those setting down in the ground. So there is a little bit of money I'm gonna invest in wood to, to help store things in that, that nature. Now, I also have a four by eight table. Uh, when I'm doing woodworking, that's what I would use. I'd build beds and things like that on it. Uh, it is also on casters. It moves around the shop completely. Now, I do have video equipment. You know, like I said, I've got toolboxes with tons of tools in them. I have not once opened those. My toolbox has been this guy right here. Everything in this toolbox is all you need. And it's one of those things that a lot of people don't want to talk about. You don't have to go and spend all that money. Buy the toolkit from uh, Zenith and be done with it. You know, I've got a grinder. I've got the bench with everything on it. You know, it's got my toolbox. It's got the guys that give me the best advice I know as my Clico holders. 
you know, I've got the Pendleton, I've got the McAllen, box of cigars, you know, charging station, I've got hand tools, all that stuff. Now, something I think is really cool, maybe you might not like it, but I like listening to music when I build. So, I got this guy here, which is a touchscreen uh, computer. It plays music, I can look things up, it works out really well, and, you know, I can search for anything I want. It's super nice. Um, if you want more on that, I'll put a link in the bottom, show you how I did that. I'll even make a video. Uh, like I said, I've got the grinder. Uh, I've got a nice chair. Now here's something else. I've got a computer that's hooked up to a big screen. And why does this matter? Well, I can sit here and look through and look up parts like on that right there. You know, that's showing the flap around and slap, slap build. That is probably going to be the most essential thing because you're going to be getting those guys right there, the DVDs, and you're going to be looking through them. And you want somewhere that you're not running inside uh, to go and get all this stuff. Now, what do I have invested in out here? Well, when you start talking about how much the plane parts cost, how much uh, video equipment costs, stuff like that, I've got a little bit invested. You know, I've got some storage over here in the corner. Uh, you know that I built it's got my tanks. It's got all my control parts in it That stuff doesn't really matter because you're gonna be able to put it wherever you want So far I've got about 30 grand invested in this thing That's not a lot when you're talking about building an aircraft and with that it becomes one of those things that is Really just what you want to make it you don't have to go out You don't have to go and buy all the stuff like I said It's a two-car garage 24 by 26, it's what I got. Don't go out and spend all that money. Drop it into your avionics, drop it into your engine, and do everything you need to do. Uh, I've appreciated and I am so thankful and happy for each and every one of you out there that have subbed, liked, commented, started conversation on the forums with me. Uh, it's been amazing. I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. Now. Where am I at and where am I going from this process? Well, I'm going to be going and talking to a few companies. I'm going to be shooting some video along with that to hopefully bring you some things that you haven't seen before. And you've probably seen them, but not in the depth like this. I'm a very hands-on builder. Uh, that is what I do. I'm a budget builder. I will have to build everything myself. Um, I'm going to be going down to the rudder workshop, uh, Wheels and Wings, Herman, all those guys. I, I know a couple of the guys from Zenith are coming. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a time. I hope to see you there. And with that, I'm also going to go by Viking and all of the engine companies on the way there and maybe shoot some video and bring that to you because I still haven't made a decision of what aircraft engine I'm going with. Budget-wise, there's not a lot out there. So I'm trying to make the best decision for me. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you come back. If it's your first time here, like, sub, subscribe, do all that. Put in the comments below what you're building. Shoot, shoot, shoot me a, a, a text, a, a picture, something on Facebook. Show me what you're building. If you're part of the Experimental Aircraft Channel uh, group, love those guys. Brian, he's, his wife's about to have a kid. Congratulations if this video is after it. Uh, you guys have been awesome, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I am Bruno, Triple E's Inside. We'll catch you guys on the next one.